All right, everybody, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. This is my 1988 Forerunner. You guys probably remember. I think it's super cool. It's getting an OM617 turbo diesel. Uh, I brought it down today. The, the engine's not really ready to put in, but I thought that I could probably get started by making some mounts and stuff. So uh, I cut the core support out so that I can pull the engine and trans in one piece. This is a Mercedes radiator that I'm gonna try to use, and the reason for that is if I use the Mercedes radiator, I can use stock Mercedes hoses. Uh, I've cut the 22RE mounts off the frame. I've done some preliminary measurements. If I have, if I give myself four inches in front of the firewall, or in front of the engine, if I give myself four inches clearance to the radiator, I'll wind up to the back bolt of the engine mounts winds up being like one foot six inches which puts my mount somewhere around here right where these control arms go so what I'm gonna do is grind these flat um, and I'm gonna put an oversized flat piece of flat stock on here I have that big piece back there I'll put an oversized piece of flat stock on there and uh, probably pick the engine up and set it in here and see where it lands as far as clearance all this stuff goes I'm pretty sure this steering stabilizer is gonna have to go um, I've notched the pan so the pan should sit up in this area but it's all in flux we have a plasma cutter we have a welder we have grinders we have sawzaws we'll figure this out so I'll bring you guys back All right, so I trimmed those down a little bit more and I have here a loose collection of metal that I cut and I'm gonna try to build a bridge across here and some hangers that go up and I'm hoping that I can set the oil pan in here on that little cradle um, and that'll hold it steady while I, in, in conjunction with the engine hoist and the jack. Um, while I figure out exactly where the motor mounts land and will allow me to move it back and forth a little bit. I give it a little stability and some semblance of safety, I hope. So I'm going to get started tacking that stuff together and I'll bring you guys back. All right, so after a few minor setbacks, nothing major, I did get this set in there. Um, there seems to be ample room for activities front and rear with where I have it right now. My lift plate's a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. So it interfered with all the heater hoses and stuff, but that's okay, I can live with that. Um, the tilt right now is a bit downward to the front. It needs to lift up in the back. This is the motor mount on the driver's side it's not at all gonna hit that plate so i don't know if i'll build a dog leg into the plate and keep the cross member i kind of like the cross member um on this side it lines right up it's like mint yeah progress is being made it's going along nicely uh, encouraging encouraging progress for me the way that i work i i like to just get in there and do stuff and see what happens um so yeah, um, my, my mock cross member was not bad, I don't think, uh, just not great. And then getting that up, I put this piece of bar stock up here to try to see what kind of hood clearance I have. And it looks pretty close. I'm not opposed to having a scoop on it though. Um, the intercooler will sit right in this area. So uh, where it's at right now for aft, I, I think it's pretty good. Um, there's quite a bit of room behind it. There's a fair bit of room in front of it. You can grab this radiator here and see if we can sling it in there. It might have to go back. Yeah. Might have to go back a little bit. 
I'm gonna have to wait till I have my mounts, but uh, or my serpentine conversion from Doomsday. To see How about that. So yeah, I'm not gonna be able to even begin to build mounts today or this weekend, but that was fun just to get it in there and uh, it, it's actually fully sitting on that booger, boogered up cross member too. I just have the chain there for safety.